Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about video game news and specifically the upcoming Sony game coming from Naughty Dog Studios called The Last of Us Part 2. This game has been mired in controversy for almost a month now. There's been lots of drama surrounding it. First there was leaks about the story and lots of gameplay footage came out a few weeks back. Then we found out a disgruntled employee leaked that information because they weren't getting paid early enough and enough for their bonus and then in addition the company started censoring stuff. They started flagging people that talked about it, taking down video posts and memes and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's been a very long ride and fortunately we do have more to talk about today. It just keeps going and going. The game hasn't even come out yet. We're not even to June yet. It's coming out in June, but there's still a lot going on. Promotions, things have been coming out. I think they're actually doing some gameplay live streams today with the company. And in addition, there's been a couple of other developments. First, quickly, we heard that due to this SJW influence and all these alphabet characters, the game is not actually going to be released in the Middle East now. The Middle East has been long known to be very against these sorts of progressive values and these sorts of far left kinds of things containing any kinds of gay characters, stuff like that. So that kind of thing has ruined this game's chance in the Far East. Now that's of course a bad thing. I'm not rooting for that. I don't think that's cool at all. I think it should be able to come out everywhere. But it's an interesting note and it's also a funny kind of side note that leads us into the next story. What really happened this week, what's really interesting and what we're going to talk about today's video is how this game actually ended up censoring itself. We talked about how they flagged a lot of videos and a lot of posts and a lot of stuff that's been coming out. They've been DMCA claiming, like copyright claiming, taking stuff down for a while now. And they actually went on another tirade the last few days. We kind of thought it was over because this happened early on in the story when the leaks first came out. People started taking down videos. And then a few weeks later, the videos started getting reinstated. They started coming back on different YouTubers, different posts on Twitter. And that kind of gave us a sigh of relief and saying, hey, maybe they're giving up or we're past this point. But now there's more claims. Now a lot of those same people on YouTube and Twitter, they're getting claimed and their posts are going down again. Most ironically is they actually flag themselves. So Sony ended up flagging an older post I think from early in May where they had a picture from the game and that got DMCA claimed that got taken down and it's turned into this whole crazy thing where they're actually censoring themselves because they're getting so aggressive with their kind of quieting of things they're trying to mum this whole situation trying to lock it down before the release it's actually kind of past the point where they can actually do that. They're actually kind of invoking the Streisand effect when you think about it because the more they try and hide stuff, the more people are going to seek it out and the more they're going to see it and get the spoilers. And that's just part of what's happened here. It's unfortunate for them and I know they might lose some money, but it's also partly their own fault because yes, those leaks, even if they were the supposed hackers that leaked stuff, there's still blame on Sony and Naughty Dog. They should have had better security. They should have maybe treated their employees better Better, and they should have made a better game. They're definitely uh, kind of dropping the ball, making this thing really SJW and terrible. They've put in all these left-wing politics that's just turned everyone off. The new main character that's taking over the series is this alphabet chick with a golf club. It's really cringe, and it's kind of them doing it to themselves. They're shooting themselves in the foot as they have with this censorship stuff because they've actually ended up censoring themselves in the foot, so to speak. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into an article. This is from Bounding into Comics. They have more details. It's called the official PlayStation Twitter account appears to have censored itself in response to The Last of Us Part Two leaks. Now, this reminds me, actually, I think our last video, we talked about Twitter censoring President Trump, and now they're going and censoring these video game posts at the behest, at the request of these companies, of course, but it kind of goes along with that. It shows how censorous this website is, how all these social media sites have this kind of sneaky control behind the scenes where they show you what they want you to see. They take away stuff quietly without telling anyone. It's a, it's a classic idea of like them kind of showing you what they want you to see, like I just said, and them kind of presenting stories in the ways that they are. And they're rewriting history a lot of ways because they delete old posts 
post. They rewrite them, edit them, reframe them, and all kinds of stuff. So I'm not surprised this is happening on Twitter, and I'm not surprised this is coming from these Last of Us 2 people because they've become pretty much the biggest jokers on the internet at this point. The official PlayStation Twitter account appears to have fallen victim to its parent company's own censorship action in response to Last of Us Part 2 leaks. A May 6 tweet from the official PlayStation Twitter account promoting the Ellie and Joel story trailer for The Last of Us Part 2 features an image that informs you that the media cannot be displayed. So this is a tweet from way back at the beginning of the month. I would say, yeah, about 20 days ago. And it's kind of them just kind of showing that one thing they're censoring a lot. They're definitely spreading out and going after everything. And they're not really paying attention where it comes from. Because anyone that's behind this, anyone that's taking down posts, anyone that's possibly working for Naughty Dog or Associates, they should have seen it was Sony or PlayStation and been like, oh, we're not going to censor that. I mean, that's our company. They own our company. You know, it doesn't make sense. But I think it's probably automated. I think that shows that they're just kind of have some kind of script or some kind of computer program that's taking down stuff and it can't really think Clearly, you know, it can't really decipher how that's not a, not a good idea. And it also just goes to show how far back they're going. They're not just going after new posts and stuff that's coming out now. They're going back like a full 20 days, like over two weeks, like a month ago. And they're going for old stuff too. So it's very desperate looking. It's very bad and terrible. And it shows how the censorship is getting crazy. It reads, media not display. This image has been removed in response to a report from the copyright holder. Daniel here has a tweet about it. You can see the picture they're talking about. When you try so hard to censor meme, you end up censoring yourself. Bounding in the comics, you guys saw this Last of Us 2 censored. And that's the PlayStation tweet, media not be displayed. It says Ellie and Joel's story continues. Uh, just embarrassing, just awkward. Like, why? Why do you care if this picture was up there, dudes? Quit it just stop naughty dog sony like can someone in there have some common sense like i feel like their company is just ruining everything i mean they already ruined the game we already know that they took the game and just destroyed what was cool about last of us this company has been destroyed i used to love naughty dog i used to play all of uncharted games i still play them recently i just got through the most recent one but yeah it's like that whole company has gone downhill and then now they're ruining this new game and this whole internet thing like they just can't get anything right at least it's fun to watch though here's a screenshot of the actual tweet playstation is the latest victim in sony and naughty dog's campaign to censor any kind of discussion regarding the last of us part two leaks and here is that character we were talking about. This is the new main character, the new kind of androgynous alphabet, possibly trans, possibly lesbian, whichever it may be. There's nothing wrong with these identities, of course. We don't have problems with that. We have problems with them getting forced into media that we enjoy them kind of taking over and you know this girl is supposed to take out our favorite main character then you play as that character and it's just a really cringy we don't like the new character either we could have stuck with the main ones we already liked joel and ellie lots of things wrong there Following the leaks, Naughty Dog and Sony Interactive Entertainment employed a company called Muso TNT Limited to target YouTubers' websites, individuals who were discussing the leaks. YouTubers Ryan Cannell, Gaming with Geeks, Jeremy Grigg of Geeks and Gamers, Heels vs. Babyface, Mr. H Reviews, and Super Divorce were some of the YouTubers that Naughty Dog targeted through Muso. So these are all the channels that got flagged. They lost videos. I've mentioned a few before. I've seen some of these other ones. Geeks and Gamers was the one that I knew had lost a video, got a video back, and then I think they might have even gotten taken down again recently. I'm not sure where these guys all lie now, but apparently they're all involved, and it's just, you know, these are just regular great you know channels they're no they're not even like the biggest channels in the world either nothing wrong with that i'm just saying they're going after like they're not million millionaires they're not million subscriber channels as far as i know i think these are all you know average youtube channels definitely great good content successful but the point is they're going after these kinds of independent creators trying to report on a story trying to give their viewers this 
tale about video games, about The Last of Us, about the leaks, and the fact that the big dog, Naughty Dog, Sony, these billionaire companies are going after regular YouTubers, that's messed up. That's a bad angle. Bad optics, for sure. They should be embracing these guys. They should be embracing like all of us. They should use all of YouTube as a platform to spread knowledge about their game. They should actually kind of consider you know, molding their story to what these fans want. They don't get it. They're trying to buck against us and say, hey, this is what we're showing you. We're giving you SJW stuff. We're influenced by Anita Sarkeesian. We're going to shove this progressivism down your throat. And that's why they're failing. That's the truth is they're having all this bad press. They're taking the story and it's getting taken over too. Here you can see part of the story here, some pictures, some guys going after this chick. Not much to say about that, but you can see they're ruining this whole situation and it's all their own fault. Their overzealous censorship even extended to individuals who were creating memes referencing the leaks. One person had their meme featuring Metal Gear Rising Revengeance's Senator Armstrong playing golf with Joel and Ellie from the first Last of Us game. Okay, this is a funny one. Naughty Dog hid this meme from their replies. And yeah, it has the picture of the general and them playing golf. It's just a joke on the whole golf club thing that came out in the leaks whenever they first leaked stuff about Last of Us 2. That main character, that new main character we're talking about, the alphabet, she ends up taking out the, our favorite Joel with the golf club. And that's where it gets really cringe and it just goes to show. I mean, it's very unbelievable too because we saw that character was kind of a smaller build and Joel is definitely bigger. In addition, we've seen Joel take out just tons of people. Like He's had this whole backstory where he had to spend 20 years fending for himself and they talked about how it was the dark times and they basically just had to kill 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 not just the, the animals and the zombies either they had to fight other deadly humans during this apocalyptic game and so the fact that Joel would then go down to this kind of alphabet chick with the golf club. It's very unbelievable. I'm not sure where it's coming from. I'm not sure they're going to be able to justify that in any way possible. And it's just another reason why people are turning away from this game. Naughty Dog has taken the censorship so far. They employed a new Twitter tool that prevents their fans, potential customers, and critics from even responding to their posts on Twitter. They effectively silenced anyone who even wanted to say good job or express how excited they were for the game. They began deploying this tool on May 21st and have used it for every subsequent tweet. As you can see below, you can only retweet or like the tweet. Okay, this is another part of the story too. And this is another interesting turn for Twitter as well. We were talking about how this connected to our previous video yesterday. We were talking about Twitter censoring Trump and putting little lines and clickable links under his tweets to kind of like undermine and correct him. And this is actually a similar new feature being used in a similar like pro-progressive kind of way. Now we're talking about them offering this kind of no reply option for people's tweets, for these companies' tweets. And they're claiming it's because, oh, we don't want to spread spoilers. We don't want people to reply with more spoilers. And that's true too, but I think more of it's like they don't want criticism. They don't want to take jokes in the memes. The memes and the jokes are really starting to trigger them. And really the story is, Twitter just backs at left wingers and SJWs. They back companies like this, like Sony. They back things like liberals. Then CNN, Washington Post are the ones that were attacking Trump. And here is just another new feature that's designed to, you know, make things more censorous and awful. And that's why things are bad on that website. And that's why this story just took another turn. I almost forgot about this no reply thing. And it's actually pretty interesting when you think about it with all that context. It doesn't appear that Naughty Dog or Sony appear to be slowing down with their censorship tactics as they've now taken down an official PlayStation tweet. One can only imagine what kind of tactics they will deploy when the game actually is available to purchase on June 19th. So yeah, that's not too far away, a little less than a month. And I definitely understand this kind of questioning and this kind of idea. And like I said, it relates to the political realm too, because you just think if Twitter will do this, what else are they going to do? What else are they going to censor? Who else are they fighting? Fighting for. We know they love progressives, liberals, big companies that support that kind of stuff, like how Last of Us is now. And also how they are with liberals and people like Biden and the election is involved too. Like how far are they going to go for this election? This is just the release of a video game. Twitter wants to get involved in the release of this video game. Who knows what they're going to do when this new election comes up in November? It's very interesting, very 
kind of cool to talk about. I'm not happy with the way things are going. I'm thinking we're getting a lot of good laughs out of this Last of Us 2 stuff, that's for sure. But it's also the sad thing is the game is getting ruined. The company has been ruined. Sony has a scar on it now. I kind of will give them more of a pass as the parent company. But I'm not turning on Sony and PlayStation fully yet. They definitely are being put on alert. But Naughty Dog and Last of Us has really had broken the final straw. That about wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. Tell me what you think about Last of Us. Tell me what you think about them censoring their own tweet and all these new features that Twitter is rolling out for them just so they can have a good video game. Just Don't you think it's a coincidence that it's also a video game pushing progressive politics? Because I think that has everything to do with it. Tell me what you think below. Also hit the like button to help support this video. And until next time, you guys have a great day.